Uh, dear students, I am Mahesh Javalkar of Maratamandal Polytechnic and today I am posting my first video on BEEEC subject, okay, that is Basic Electrical and Electronics Components Engineering subject. Okay, now in that we will be having Basic Electrical and Electronics questions will be asked. So before going to the first question, we will see what is the syllabus for your DCET. Then here we see for electrical and electronics engineering, it is eight marks. So eight questions will be asked. Now in that you have basics of electricity where you can study what is current, power, voltage, all that. And then we should know what is the statement of Ohm's law. Then we should know what is KVL, KCL. Then we should know resistances in series and parallel, a definition of power and energy, then laws of electrostatic, a capacitors, dielectric, charging and discharging of a capacitor. Then we should know what are electromagnetic induction, Faraday's law, Lane's law, self-inductance, mutual inductance, then a combination of inductors in series and a parallel. Then we should know AC circuits. In that we should know what are resistive circuit or inductive circuit or capacitive circuit. So it can be called as R circuit or RL circuit or RC circuit or RLC circuit. Then we should know what do you mean by transformer, types of uh, transformers, then EMF equation for that. Then uh, losses, regulation efficiency, principle of alternators, AC motors, DC motors, generators, specification applications and features of different types of resistors, inductors, capacitors, relays, cells and batteries. So based on all this basic electrical and electronics engineering, you will be having eight marks or that is eight questions in your DCET which can be asked okay so with this syllabus we'll start with the first question and we'll go to the first question now in this question it is asked an electric current is the so options of flow of electrons opposition to electron storage of charge ionization of atom okay so obviously whenever we say electric current is flowing it is the flow of electrons Whenever we say electric current is flowing, it is the flow of electrons. So whenever a material is having excess electrons, which has come out of the bonding, now those electrons will flow and the material which have more, uh, more such free electrons is called as conductor. The material which have medium, they are called as semiconductors and the material which have less free electrons or there are no free electrons are called as insulators. Okay. So here an electric current is the flow of electrons is the right answer. Option A is the right answer. Then we'll go to the question number two. The number of cycle, the number of cycle per second is called. Okay, so if you see an AC quantity, if you see an AC quantity, so this, if you see positive half cycle, negative half cycle, this is one cycle then you have positive half cycle negative this is another cycle okay so this along with time okay so positive negative okay so this is pi this is 2 pi that is around 360 degree and again this is 3 pi 4 pi it will go on so such positive and negative this is one cycle so this is one cycle such how many cycles you have per second okay in an alternating quantity that will be called as frequency that is the definition of frequency. Frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second. Okay. So here the option will be A, option A frequency. Then we'll go to the third question. An instrument which detects electric current is known as. Okay. So out of these options, induction meter, watt meter, or galvanometer, and none of this. A galvanometer is one which detects electric currents. Now galvanometers are used in bridge circuits and all to test whether any current is flowing. So here the answer will be answer C, a galvanometer which detects electric current. Question number four, the substances which have a large number of free electrons and offer a low resistance are called. So obviously as I have told you, the substance which have large number of free electrons where electric current can flow very easily. Therefore the opposition to the flow of current also is low, resistance also is low those type of substances are called as conductors okay so here option c will be the right answer conductors clear then we'll go to the next question question number five the property of a conductor due to which it passes current is called as okay 
so whenever there is a property to pass a, a current then it is called as conductance okay so here here if you see passing of current okay so it will be called as a conductance and similarly opposing of current will be called as resistance okay now if you speak in terms of rlc circuit then passing of current will be called as admittance okay and opposition of current will be called as impedance if you see only reactive circuits then susceptance will be the passing of current and reactance will be or our reluctance reactance will be your uh, this thing what you say uh, opposition to the flow of current okay so in this way if you see in this uh, options the property of a conductor due to which it passes current is called as conductance so option b is the right answer conductance okay then we'll see reciprocal of conductor is called so as i have told you earlier okay a conductor means passing of current okay so this, this is conductor and if you take a reciprocal of conductor 1 upon c that will be resistance okay so reciprocal of conductor 1 upon c will be a resistance a reciprocal of admittance 1 upon a will be impedance and a, a reciprocal of susceptance okay that is 1 upon s will be reactance okay so in this way if if in the question he has asked a reciprocal of conductance the answer will be resistance okay so here answer b will be the answer for this question next we'll go to the question number 7 power factor of direct current okay now power factor is one which gives the cosine angle between the voltage and current of an ac circuit okay but when there is a direct current then you don't have that uh, this thing uh, angle uh, between the uh, voltage and current and because the angle be between the voltage and current is zero then power factor is that cos angle of that okay so cos theta so cos theta is zero cos zero will be one so in case of direct current the power factor will be unity so here option c will be the right answer unity okay then we will go to the question number eight frequency of direct current is okay so we know that when we have said what was frequency so frequency will be number of cycles per second okay and then you can see this this will be your alternating quantity number of cycles per second okay so for a direct current it is only a straight line there is no cycles there is no alternating quantity there is no positive negative quantity okay so frequency of direct current has to be zero so if this is your dc then the frequency has to be zero because there is no alternating quantity here okay so here the option should be a option a is zero then we'll go to the next question what does a capacitor store okay so from these options a current charge voltage or power the option b is the right answer charge capacitor store charges okay so it will be having a positive and negative side and between those it will be storing charges clear then here will be the option b charge then we'll go to the next question question number 10 a, a capacitor blocks okay so once you study what is a, a capacitor okay now the opposition to the flow of current by the a capacitor is called as capacitor reactance fc which is given as 1 by 2 pi fc okay 1 by 2 pi fc now here uh, the a capacitor will have a higher opposition when the value of f is less okay and this value of f will be less in dc okay so capacitor can show higher opposition for dc so it will block dc so in this options the option a will be the right answer a capacitor blocks dc okay then we'll go to the next question a inductor blocks okay now if you see the reactance of inductor okay fl will be equal to 2 pi fl okay so here f is directly proportional to the reactance so f is more reactance is more so if this is more that means it is ac that is alternating quantity the f 
frequency is more that means reactance is more that means inductor blocks ac okay so here the option should be a ac clear then we'll go to the next question if the number of resistances are connected in series then the equivalent resistance will be what okay it will be decreased increased remains the same or what so if you say resistance in series r1 r2 r3 okay so this is r1 r2 r3 if you take in series then the equivalent resistance will be the sum of the resistances so obviously it will increase it increases the equivalent resistance okay so here the option will be option b if the number of resistance are connected in series then the equivalent resistance increases option b is the right answer then we'll go to the next question which of the following is not a passive component okay so when we studied active and passive or components we have studied that passive components are inductor capacitor resistor now all these first three options are passive component and he has asked in the question which of the following is not a passive component now out of this nobody is active so none of the above is a passive component so d option will be the right answer over here then we'll go to the next question which of the following is an active component now we have studied what are active and passive or components and out of these options a director is a, a passive a potentiometer is passive a capacitor is passive and diode is one which is a active one okay so here uh, in the option a he has mentioned only director he has not mentioned anything variable uh, resistor okay but in option d he has mentioned what is diode so here out of these four options diode will be the correct answer and diode you can mark it as an active component okay so then we'll go to the next question heat in a conductor is produced on the passage of electric current due to okay now whenever a current passes through any material now whenever it passes through a resistance it will uh, dissipate power there it will dissipate power and heat is generated so heat in a conductor is produced on the passage of electric current due to resistance resistance will be the right answer d resistance then we'll go to the next question question number 16 the insulation on a current carrying conductor is provided the insulation in a current carrying conductor is provided to prevent leakage of current or to prevent shock or both of the above and none of the above it is obviously leakage of current also is pre prevented and you will not get any shock also so both of the above factor will be the answer so both of the above factor c will be the answer okay then we'll go to the next question in case of short circuit dash current will flow in the circuit now obviously whenever a circuit is shorted the resistance is very low resistance is very low therefore the current flowing will be very high very high current will flow that is in these options if you see option d infinite will be the correct option in case of short circuit infinite current will flow in the circuit okay then we'll go to the next question ohm is the unit of what okay ohm is the unit of a resistance which is the opposition to the flow of current ohm is also a unit of inductive reactance which is the opposition to the flow of current xl ohm is also a unit of capacitive reactance xc which is also opposition to the flow of current so all the first three options a b c are opposition to the flow of current and therefore uh, the a unit of that opposition will be ohms only so here the option will be d all of the above all of the above is the answer here then we'll go to the next question siemens or mo mho mo which is just opposite of ohm is the unit of what okay now siemens of mo is the unit of a conductance okay so it is allowing the flow of current it is the unit of a conductance okay similarly if you take anything a reciprocal to impedance it is called as admittance okay admittance also can be uh, the answer whose unit is mo that means conductance and admittance both a and b is having the unit mo because it is allowing the flow of current okay then here the option will be both a and b then we'll go to the next question the minimum requirements for causing flow of current are 
okay now whenever you want a current to flow in a minimum circuit then you should have a voltage source and a conductor voltage source will be applied and the current will flow through the conductor so here in these options option b b will be the right answer a voltage source and a conductor is the minimum required for causing flow of current okay now students this were the first 20 questions what i have taken on the basic electrical and electronic engineering of compounds b triple ac subject and in my next video i will take the other questions for the same thank you very much